Namaste everyone. Today we are going to discuss about cystic sarcosis. So what is the possibility of cystic sarcosis? Larva of tenia solium. So larva of tenia solium. Solium stands for pork. Pork tapeworm. So pork tapeworm. If you are having pig meat, so it, uh, the larva of tenia solium will be the positive result of cystic sarcosis. So mode of transmission is fecal oral by ingestion of uncooked pork meat of pig. So incubation period is weeks to months. Clinical feature is neurocystic sarcosis, ocular cystic sarcosis, and derma cystic sarcosis. So neurocystic stands for if the larva of tenia solium enters into the brain, so it will occur a complication called neurocystic sarcosis. And if the larva of tenia solium enters in our eye, so it will occur ocular cystic sarcosis and if the larva of uh, tenia solium will enter in, in our skin so it will call derma cystic sarcosis so what is the management nicolosamide albendazole anti helminthic drug and surgical removal in the case of uh, neurocystic sarcosis so prevention is proper washing of vegetables before having raw vegetables such as radish carrot we will wash properly the vegetable before having it, consuming it. Avoidance of uncooked pork. So the uncooked pork will lead to cystic sarcosis. So must be avoided to consume uncooked pork. So note teniasis occur only in non-vegetarian. Teniasis occur only in non-vegetarian but cystic sarcosis occur both in vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian. So this must be noted that teniasis occur in non-vegetarian but cystic sarcosis occur both in vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian. This is all about cystic sarcosis. Um, thank you so much. If this video is useful for you, please like and subscribe and share to your friends and family. Thank you.